Grand Rising, my kings and queens. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. How is everyone? Hope everyone is doing great and awesome and all that other good, 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 good stuff. Grand Rising, everyone. Grand Rising. I am available for readings if you would like a reading. I'm awesome, babe. How are you? Do you wake up this time of night very often? Grand rising, my kings and queens. Grand rising. Okay, because these are witching hours. These are the times that uh, you receive messages. And if you uh, wake up between 2 and like 6 o'clock all the time, like without an alarm or anything like that, then um, you need to meditate or um, go within because you have messages that you need to receive. No. Grand Rising, Cynthia. No, I'm not on the East Coast. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Not on the East Coast. In Georgia, baby. I am available for readings, everyone. If you would like a reading, a love reading, a general reading, a soul reading, a health reading, or a spiritual reading. Everything you need to know is in the comment section. Grand rising, everyone. Grand rising. Grand rising, my kings and queens. Grand rising. Like I said, you guys, if you want a reading, everything you need to know is in the comment section. Or you can log off and go to my bio. Everything you need to know is in my bio as well. I'm not doing free questions. These are paid readings. Paid readings only. Readings are $25. And if you have a question, questions are $10, my kings and queens. Yes, I can do you a general reading, love. It's $25. only have one baby daddy. Why does that matter to you? My baby daddy is deceased. Point. If you would like a reading, reading are $25. Look in the comment section. Everything you need to know is in the comment section, my love. I have one son. Thank you. And my son is grown. My son is 24 years old. No, babe. Just be yourself. I don't have any tips. Yes, I am doing readings, my love. Readings are $25. If you would like a love reading, a spiritual reading, a general reading, a health reading, uh huh, or a soul reading, all of those are $25. Let's see what else.
Uh-huh. Don't lie to her. Don't lie. Don't push your negativity on someone else. Tell me I don't ask for money. It scares people away. People shouldn't come with people with their problems. Like, it takes a lot to do readings. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of spiritual work. It takes a lot of grounding. It takes, like, a lot out of readers. If you are a real reader, because I am an oracle, I am a shaman. You see what I'm saying? So, I am a healer also. So... When I do mine, yeah, I'm charging, period, period. I even, I even, um, you know, summon people and they, and people ask to take over my body. You feel me? So yes, I'm charging for that. And then when I do that, when someone takes over your body and you're me, perhaps, you see what I'm saying? You have to lay down for 24 hours. You can't do nothing for 24 hours. You're drained. You're discombobulated. You're all over the place. So don't tell people negativity. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's spiritual awakening is different. So please, um, Mads for M4? No. Uh uh, but she didn't ask you for your opinion. She asked me. You see what I'm saying? So no, you can't give no one advice. Period. Can't nobody give nobody else advice. How does that work? Are you her? Have you lived her life? Do you know her experiences? Do you know her backstory? Do you know her past life? You don't know any of that about her. Not do you know any of her trauma? So, you can't tell nobody what to do. Period. You can't. Once again. And you know you're on TikTok, right? Come on. Stop it. <laughs> I'm from Dallas, Texas, but I stay in Atlanta. Exactly, because I've been doing it way before it existed. Albuquerque. Are y'all talking about me squinting? I can't see the fuck. Why is people worried about, like, bro, I'm squinching at the fucking things. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm on my iPhone. The motherfucking messages are this big. You feel me? Smaller than that. Motherfucker, tell me, are you high? Are you fried? Are you baked? Are you? Are you? Like, come on. Like, stop the bullshit. <laughs> Yes, I'm empath too. I'm highly sensitive. Thank you. Hey, I'm empath. I'm um I'm empath. I'm clairvoyance. I'm claircognizant. I'm clairsendence. I'm clairaudience. Um, I'm telekinesis. I'm telepathic. I'm clairvoyant. I, like I'm D, all of the above, you dig? And I've been doing this, like, I just got on TikTok, so I've been doing this personally, privately, for over seven years. Yes, yes, that full moon, baby. That full moon was crazy. Did y'all even get to see the full moon? Because I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and we didn't even get to see the moon, like, like, literally. We, like, it was behind some dark clouds, then gray clouds, then white clouds. You feel me? So, I never, I was outside. And I, even if I go out, I was just outside while I go. Like, this is my time when I'm outside with my night vision goggles. As y'all should already know on my page. You know, with my night vision goggles, looking at ship and entities and all of that good stuff. Kite. 
Stop. So, and it's not even out right now. It's like, what the fuck? What are they doing out there? Yeah, empaths, we are very emotional because we take on other people's energy. We take on other people's emotions. You'll be crying or angry or frustrated or having anxiety or depression, and it's not even yours. It could be coming from across the street, around the corner, like from your children, your spouse or whatever. It could be coming from somebody right there. So, yeah, like... My first time going to a festival in Atlanta was recently, well, ever was recently. And I literally got so close to all of these crowds. As soon as I was going up the street, as soon as I'm going up the street to the jazz festival, actually, that was at Piedmont Park. So I'm going up the street, right? And there's so many. I've never been around this many people ever in my fucking life. So it's so many fucking people over here, huh? So... Yeah, we struggle like a mud. And so I'm going down the street, right? So next thing I know, I turn sad. My head feel like it's about to bust. Normally, I can father and deal with people and I can close myself off. And, you know, I, you know, you have to, you know, exercise your mind to where you can, you know, quiet off the voices and the people. And they're talking and they're fucking mind talking and shit. So when I got around thousands and thousands of people at the jazz festival, it was like I was about to bust. It's like I was about to faint. Like literally, I've never been around that many people. So I got a spot on the hill, like away from like all of the crowd. You feel me? And I didn't even go up and get any food. You know what I'm saying? And I just had to be away from all of the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like over 50 plus thousand people there. You know what I'm saying? So, and it was my first time at a festival. I did end up having fun though. I had friends with me. So, they actually... Yeah, that's actually why I was able to survive out there actually because my friends was with me and I didn't have to move and go get nothing. So they was like, and they noticed the change, the shift in me while I was in the car. So they was like, what's wrong? You okay? And I, I just wasn't saying nothing. I was just like, I just didn't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? So when I got out the car though, I was good. I was good once I got out the car. Like I was a one yola. Like there wasn't nothing that was stopping me after I got out the car. So it was crazy. It was mad crazy, yo. It was crazy, though. I did have my head wrapped. I did. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Had on my stones and everything. Let me show you a picture. Okay, and let me tell y'all what else happened to me at this motherfucking park, though, too. When I was going through what I was going through. Okay, I took two pictures. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, like I told y'all, my homegirl name was there, too, right? So, this is me. I got on a, a head wrap, yellow. This is there. So I had on a head wrap. I was protected. Stone of my like, yeah. I was Gucci. Okay. This is the same picture, you guys. I took it twice. I even took a picture of my homegirl. And me. Once again. This is me. This picture never fucking showed up, y'all. I've never been able to distinguish why this one picture did not come out like this is the only picture of me can y'all see that hold on let's see okay there you go 
That's the only picture of me. Mind you, this is the same, this is the same, same style, bro. It's the same spot, same everything. At the same time also, like no bullshit. Same time also. So can anybody tell me? My homegirl then was like, girl, it's going to come out. It's going to show up. It's just coming out slow. And then it never showed up. I never showed up in this picture. Only thing you can see is my eyes and the background. That's me. That is the same me. Same day, same everything. So, I don't know. I don't even know what that's about. And it even came, my homegirl, she came up. Like, I took other people's pictures. Like, but this one of me did not come out. Just this one. One. Just this one. And it looked like it wanted to come out. But I look like an alien. Period. Point blank. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I look like a motherfucking alien. Look at him. Look. You can't tell me. It's crazy. So I be having like mad crazy experiences. And that was the same day that I was tripping because I had to center myself because of uh, the empath. What were you seeing, babe? You talking about on my picture? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all that's on the freaking picture. Like, there's nothing. I don't know. But my friend's like, girl, stop tripping. Because I kept going back to it while I was out. I'm like, bro, this picture is not coming out. And it was like, bro, yeah, it is. It's going to come out. Look at it. It's coming out in the little background. So my eyes coming out in the little background, bro. But I'm not coming out. I got a big ass yellow. Look. You see that big ass yellow motherfucking head wrap? Look. Like, that head wrap should be on this bitch too. That thing should be on there too. <laughs> so it's 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 like man crazy. And if y'all follow me on my other page, like, and a lot of y'all would know that, like, even when I'm giving readings, I have spirits around me. You'll see white orbs. You'll see spirits. You'll see shadows. Like, people done told me plenty of times that I have stuff around me. So, but evidently it's not a bad thing because ain't nothing bad happened or nothing like that. Ain't nothing bad happen, though. Y'all like my shirt? Y'all like my shirt? I got 99 lighters, and I can't find one. <laughs> Same in my room. It's a fool. Like, it's crazy. Especially when I got all the lights off. Righteous. Thank you for the gifts. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I get something to go live on my other page. That's good. That's a good thing. Thank you. Your niece is a reader as well. That's a good thing. Same name with the number two behind it. Candy Fox, number two. Oh. 
Oh, okay. That's good. If you would like a reading, my kings and queens, I'm about to post everything in the comment section. I posted everything in the comment section if you would like a reading. If you would like a love reading, a general reading, a spiritual reading, a health reading, or a soul reading. Okay, Courtney. I'm glad I was up and got a chance to be a part of your reading. Thank you, love. No, nope, I'm squinting at the screen, sir. You see how different my eyes got? Yeah, I'm squinting at the screen, sir. The chosen one. I got this on my iPhone. Geet. Don't got time for stupidity, baby. Don't have time for stupidity, baby. I, I'm the block queen, honey. Positive energy, positive vibes, positive frequency. I'm geeked because I'm squinting. It's, do you want me to put on my glasses? The fuck? <laughs> you want me to put on my glasses? I got those. Didn't want to put them on. And I'm not. The fuck? Like I said, I'm on a iPhone. Who iPhone big? Who iPhone words come up this big on they live? Nobody's. So, I ain't trying to eat. I'm blind by birth. <laughs> it run in the family, baby. <laughs> if you would like a reading, readings are 25. I guess so. I guess it is just his phone. <laughs> I guess. Then I'm old. So, hey, I ain't no youngster. I'm almost 40 years old. So, yeah, eyes ain't what they used to be when I was younger. So... <laughs> You too, love. Love and light. No. No, Melissa. That's the first time I've been asked that in my life. So if we feel a connection. You don't feel a connection, baby. You feel energy. And you don't need to feel my energy. I feel yours when I'm giving readings. So whoever told you that bullshit, they lied to you. Or if you assume that, you know, I know you heard that saying, you, when you assume things, you make an ass out yourself. Don't do that to yourself, baby, okay? Don't do that, okay? <laughs> she said, to we feel a connection, that is a first. <laughs> What connection? Only way you're going to feel somebody's connection, you, the the actual person that needs the reading, only way you will feel the connection from the from the per, the psychic, you have to be like really in their face one on one. So y'all be feeling each other's connection and energy and spirit and soul. I don't care what other people do, sweetie. That's, that's your problem. Why are you comparing me to other people? I am me. <laughs> baby, you better check and see, check my repertoire, baby. Know who I am. Know who I am. If you don't know who I am, please do not talk. Okay? That's what people's problem is. Get rid of your expectations, sweetie. Everyone is different. Since you're new here, let me tell you who I am. Okay? All right. 
I am Candy Fox, better known as Candace Franklin. I am a tarot reader. I am an oracle. I am a shaman. So basically, I am a healer. And so, like I tell everyone, since you're new, let me tell you. Don't compare me to any other tarot reader because I am not your typical tarot reader. I'm not your light spoken, quiet spoken, or none of that of any tarot reader, okay? I'm going to give it to you raw and uncut. I'm going to be straight blunt with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing, okay? I do not do yes or no answers because there is no yes or no answers in tarot reading, okay? And that's why your tarot readers, when they're dealing their cards, they don't even show you that they're dealing their cards, okay? So when the cards drop, if they don't already have cards already set out on their table and they're picking through the cards so they can show you the cards that they want. That is not me, my love. I go off of energy. I don't even need the cards to give a reading, my love, okay? My kings and queens. I don't need the tarot cards to give a reading because I am an oracle. I have bowl of water. Ice crying, you feel me? I get answers through water. Uh-huh. I'm a Libra. Sun, moon, and rising, okay? What else? Um, I do my singing ball when I am doing humanity readings. Um, I do do free um answer questions I and tarot readings. I did that Friday on my other page as well, you know. And I actually give away when my uh, likes make it to 20K. I actually answer 20 questions from everyone in the room. When it gets up to 40K, I also answer the questions, 40 free questions. So that should answer your question on who I am and what makes me different from every other tarot reader that you will ever see in your life. I'm the best friend you should have had. And you wish you had. You dig? Because I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, baby. Because spirits, they don't have a sense of humor. They don't laugh. They don't joke. They don't giggle. But you wouldn't know anything about that because you're not spiritually awakened. Your third eye is not woken. You do not see auras. You do not see frequencies. You do not see numbers. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, that's what makes me different from every oracle reader you will ever meet in your life, baby. Everyone that you will ever meet in your life, my queen. Everyone. Everyone, okay? Everyone. And your tarot reader, use one set of cards to do a reading and answer questions. You cannot... Use one set of tarot cards to do readings. All the same. You cannot use the same cards to do a love reading. You cannot use the same cards to do a future reading. You cannot use the same cards to do a spiritual reading. You cannot use the same cards to do a, like, no, you just can't. A soul reading. You No, those are specific cards for that. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you a little bit of my artillery. You dig? You cannot use the same cards on a woman in general readings. You cannot use the same tarot cards in tarot reading for a general reading for a woman and a man. You can't use the same. You can't. Those are different energies. Those are different frequencies. Those are different people. So... I'm going to school you all the time. And, 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 and one thing about me, we're going to spread love, positive energy, positive frequency. You know what I'm saying? That's all we're going to do. Anybody get in there talking reckless, like I say to my humanity, I'm going to block that ass. Because I'm here for humanity. I'm not here for the likes. I'm not here for the shares. I'm not even here for the comments. I'm not here for the follows. I'm here for humanity. I'm, help to, I'm here to help guide humanity. Because I know my purpose. I'm here to enlighten and let people understand to deal with their past childhood traumas like yourself. Yeah, Spirit just told me you need to deal with your past good traumas too, Melissa. Yeah, Melissa. And I'm not talking about the men. I'm not talking about the friends either. I'm talking about 
your childhood trauma, baby. Melissa. Uh-huh. You got to start way back there before you start trying to heal yourself from relationships or heartbreak or disappointment. Hmm. That's just what spirit told me to lay that down to you. You dig? So, like I said, bam. These are my men tarot cards. Bam. These are just depends on what spirit or what people are asking me on if these cards come out. What did that say? Spirit song tarot readings. Lovers oracles. All of them got this one. I know you done seen your tarot reader with these. Answering your question. Oh. No. You feel me? <laughs> when I give my humanity readings, we, we, we pick a stone of the day also. Stone of the day. These are for my soul readings, soul activations. These are for my soul readings only. Hold on, I'm not even through yet. I ain't even through yet, baby. Hold up. That's just a little bit, you dig? Hold up. Hold up. Star seed. I actually just posted a video. Pick a card for star seeds. Moonology. I know you done seen your tarot readers with these too. Energy. Before I do any readings, I pull a person's energy. And I make sure I look at their name. So, excuse me. So I can pull their energy. That I do that before any reading. I got an artillery. I don't know about your peoples. I do this. Like, I do this. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and these are my spiritual card readings. Let's go to school. Oh, my bad. I just got these new ones. Isis. I just got these. I'm studying them. Let's go to school. Lego. <laughs> Your tarot. Ask the next tarot reader how many decks of cards they got. Ask them. I'm about to start my readings in a hot second. Why? About to start in a second. Baby, you can do a FaceTime reading. You can do a Duro reading. If you're in Georgia, you can come pull up on me and do a face-to-face -face private one-on-one -on -one reading. Anyone. It don't matter. All right. Somebody did just... Sharonda... General reading, Sharonda, <clears throat> my tea, for my ginger. Where is Sharonda? Rhonda. let's go ahead and get into your reading love oh and another thing you need to make sure your tarot reader between every reading before she every tarot reader before she stops and starts another reading you need to make sure your tarot reader is cleaning the cards and cleaning herself too because you don't even know are you getting true answers because the other energy from the other people are still on her and the cards
or him and the cards. FYI too. How <laughs> you did. So I'm going to give you game, baby. I'm going to give you the game and knowledge, my love. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my charger. All right. Let me plug him in. Bam. All right. Let me pull out these cards. Hey. Tarot, tarot. Hey, 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 hey. All right. General reading. Yes, baby. I'm going to educate you, honey. That's for sure. Because once again, I'm part of humanity. I am a light being having a human experience, baby. And so are you. You are a light being having a human experience. I'm still tripped out on this picture, though. I'm going to know why my face like that on that one picture. Shrimp. And see me? I shuffle my cards and falls fall where they may. And when I, when I stop shuffling, well, when the cards stop dropping, I stop shuffling. So, I'm not one of those people. You know, if you get a five-minute reading, cool. That's cool. But... Spirits got messages for people. This is the spiritual awakening. This is the global awakening. So they got messages for everyone. Everyone. There we go. Push that back a little bit. There we go. There we go. Hey. Let me in. Uh oh, take that out there. There we go. All right, Sharonda. Let's go ahead and jump right into your reading, love. Sharonda, you got me blocked, baby. You see, no cars are jumping out. You have me blocked, baby. Only thing you got to do is breathe, my queen. Just breathe. You don't got to be nervous and nothing, you know. Just calm your heart rate. Your heart beat. Or rate, whatever you want to call it. You see? Relax, baby. Relax. Relax, baby. Relax. Once you, bam, see? Once you relax, they going to fly out. They going to fly out, you dig? Why do you feel like you've been deceited? You got deceit. Why do you feel like that? This is number 25, which breaks down to a seven. Deceit. Why do you feel like you've been deceived, misled, lied to, bullshitted? And you got financial restraints. 13, which breaks down to a four. I'm listening, Sharonda. That was a question. And then you got financial restraints. You need to tame yourself more when it comes to your coins also. You out there spending too much? Uh, you see, look, 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 look what's in that old. You ain't got that much in there. You ain't got much, much in that safe right there. But why do you feel deceited? Deceit. You got deceit. This is your overall energy at this moment. This is your overall energy. This is your overall energy, queen. This is not your reading yet. Like I said, I always put energy cards on people. 
so I could get a rough draft on how they're feeling at this moment. You feel like somebody done deceived you. That I'm bullshitted you, lied you, fucked you over. Okay, got you. Okay, got you, queen. Because you got it, because that show how you feel. That show how you feel. And that is a man. That is a man. I just want to see what you're going to tell me. That is a man. Just saying. All right, let's jump into your reading, queen. Let's jump right in, babe. Why you don't stand up for yourself? Why you let people walk all over you? You have bitch fire. You have bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. Why don't you stand up for yourself? Why are you letting people walk all over you? And we know who it is. Why? Why are you not speaking your truth? Why are you biting your tongue? Whether you tell me or not, it, it's cool. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me, love. I already know. It just came out. I already know. No. I said, it says stand up for yourself. No. No. You bite your tongue a lot. You bite your tongue a lot. Do you want me to get more specific with the person I'm talking about? Because this is you and this is them. And this says, shark, swim away from the situation. From this situation. Do I need to get technical? Do we need to get technical? This is number eight. This is number 35, which breaks down to an eight, which means infinity. Do we need to get technical? Because I get technical now. I get technical. Because we can't lie. We can't lie. You can try to lie to me, but the shit is going to come out in the cars anyway. Because you still got all these cars. So regardless of what you're telling me. Yeah. Look, look, look. Like, regardless of what you're trying to tell me. Like, yeah. It, it don't matter. Like, regardless of what you're trying to tell Please, dude. Okay. Bam. Okay. Your fiance. Yeah, he the one. That's you. That's you. Right there. That's you. You see how that person is timid? You see how that lady look compared to that man? Look, look close now. You see that? You play games if you want to. Stand up for yourself. That's what that means. And... Once again, don't doubt your worth. Don't doubt your worth. That is a number 20, which breaks down to a 10. New beginnings and transformation. You have low self-esteem, baby. Thank you, spirits. You have low self-esteem. You have, uh, you don't give yourself enough love, enough self-love. You don't let you don't give yourself enough appreciation. You don't give yourself enough gratitude. You don't pat yourself on the back enough, even for the little small things that you have accomplished and did. And you see that affirmation she got on that on that card. I am always enough. 
always. Huh? Do it for you. This is number 41, which is a number five. Do it for you. Look at that. Do it for you. Yeah. That goes back to them first two cards. That goes back to them first two cards. Bam. Okay. Okay. We know you got a fiance. Cool bet. I know this. But um, you know somebody else like you, right? And you can't lie and say that you don't because you know that they like you. You know somebody else like you. You know somebody else like you. And of course, cars do not have a gender specific. It could be two men. It could be two women. It could be a man and a woman. It could be a, a woman and a man. It does not matter. Cars do not have gender specific. Spirits don't even got gender specifics, okay? So, and they say at the bottom... This is number 39, which breaks down to a 12. So you got raindrops. Take a chance on them. Yeah. You know you got somebody that like you and cut for you. True enough, you got a fiance. But it's somebody else that you know that like you. You know somebody else like you though. You know somebody else like you though. You know somebody else like you. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of self-esteem problems for sure. Yeah, you got a lot of self-esteem problems. You got another one, escapist. Come home to yourself. You've lost yourself somewhere down this motherfucking line, somewhere in this relationship. You have lost yourself. You were more happier before you even became a fiance. Thank you, Spears. You lost yourself. You lost who the fuck say? You lost yourself. Some fucking were. Some fucking were. Yes, I'm doing readings, baby. This is someone's uh, general reading. If you would like a reading, everything you need to know is in the comment section. Yeah, it's beyond time. I'm going to show you the next card. I'm going to show you the next card. I'm glad you said that because, uh, like I said, it's your reading. So this is you. Uh, make that change. Look it up. You just said it's time and you had already got that card out. So I'm happy you know that and you realize that it's fucking time to put you back in charge. Because you can't put a king in charge of a queen because queens have kings. You hear me? Huh? Where they do that at? A king can't be over a queen when a queen makes a king, baby. Queen make kings and queens. You did? Before we made our vibration so low... On this planet, we didn't even need a man to. Ah, uh, what? We didn't even need a man to have a baby. Look at all the religions. Uh, you play chess. Where it say on the chessboard that the that the king is bigger than the queen? Where that say? What the fuck they at? She. Let me find out. I'ma come pop you in your forehead and and act like you need a VA. Okay? I'm that woman. You dig? So yeah, make, make the change, baby. Make the change. Yeah, I'm going to come pop you in your forehead like the VA commercial. Bam! <laughs> Should have had a VA, you dig? Make that change. Make that change, man. And look. 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 This how you know. When you make that change, shit gonna be gravy at the end, period. Because you don't let the baggage go. So now you can get back to self-love. Because how can you love somebody else when you haven't loved yourself yet? Huh? Huh? That's why you having all this turmoil and bullshit going on in this motherfucking, uh, 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 uh. What is this? What is this? Engagement. And like I said, you can always rewrite the story. Always. You can rewrite the story. Always. And this is a number 38. Which breaks down to an 11. 11. Abundance. Prosperity. Dreams and wishes and manifestations being granted. I don't do free readings. 
And uh, you need to go ahead and make a wish right now, too, because you got number 11. So you need to go ahead and make a wish. And, and when you wish this, this here wish is going to come into manifestation very quickly. So make that wish because you got an 11 in your reading. And bam, that goes back to more self-love, right, you? More self-love. Mira, treat your body like the palace it is. What's going on with your body? What's going on? What's going on with your body? What's going on with your body? Treat your body like the palace it is. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot, Courtney. Because once I get in my readings, baby, I get passionate. I get for real. Because I want humanity to... Okay, that's what this is about. This is about your temple. Because Spirit says she's sick. Tell Spirit says. Spirit says she's sick. And that's why I asked you. You dig? That's why I asked you. Because... Spirit told me to tell you, you need to stop eating a lot of stuff that you're eating too. You need to stop eating a lot of artificial flavor stuff. You need to stop eating stuff that got GMO in it. You need to eat stuff that is organic. You need to stop eating stuff. Thank you, Courtney. Yes, I have a pink, uh, yeah, I have a pink bikini on my cash app. Yes, I do, Melissa. Okay. Okay. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because it's a lesson. It's a lesson, baby. And you know why you're going through this? Because your heart is hurting. Your heart hurts. You haven't dealt with the trauma that you have been through. You steady sweeping it up under the table, baby, and it's making you sick. I got it, Melissa. You just sweeping it up under the table, baby. I got it, Melissa. It's popping up on my screen. You just sweeping it up under the table and it's making you sicker and sicker and sicker. I know you love this person, man. Don't get me wrong, man. I know you love him, man. But he is toxic as fuck. I wish you would have got a love reading so I could tell you if he your twin flame or soulmate. Because twin flame and soulmates are two different fucking things. They are two different fucking things. And a lot of people think they're soulmates. Is their twin flame because you have the definitions wrong. Wrong. Twin flame is somebody that loves you. Y'all was together in a past life and y'all met each other on this planet in this lifetime. Y'all sing to the same tones. Y'all like a lot of the same things. Y'all sing to the same frequencies. Y'all have a lot of the same past traumas, experiences. Because y'all know each other. And it's going to be like deja vu with a lot of stuff that y'all do when y'all together. Because y'all all have been together before. That is a twin flame. Your soulmates. That is not someone that is going to stick by you for the rest of your life. That is not someone that you're going to marry. And if you do marry them, you're going to get a divorce. Or you're going to stay in the relationship because of your children. And you're going to be miserable the whole fucking time. A soulmate, once again. You're going you're gonna to run into like a thousand soulmates in this lifetime. You're going to think that people, that you love them, y'all going to be for, together forever. And it's not that way. A lot of them, you only meet them because they're here to teach you a lesson. It's a lesson. And if you stay to getting the same people and the same outcome every time, that means you need to switch up your mindset. You need to switch up the way you think. Because if you're going in a relationship being negative, thinking that, oh, this going to happen again, or he's going to be like this person, guess what? Law of attraction. You manifested that relationship. You manifested that fucked up ass relationship because you didn't want to get out your comfort zone. Because you didn't want to be single. Because you didn't want to be alone, <laughs> Sharonda. Huh? Because you didn't want to be fucking alone. And now she, you're.